some new hair. <laughs> I am excited because I am in an Uber right now. I'm about to take a ride, y'all. We are about to take a ride. It's 4 30. Holy crap! It took us, I don't know how to count, seven and a half hours to get here. Seven and a half hours. But y'all, we made it. We made it safely. We're excited. So I didn't tell my parents, and apparently I didn't tell Bobby. Oh my god! Oh my god! You want to, okay, so I've got to text my parents and my sister and the kids. Oh my God, you are horrible. You are horrible. I've got to text my, my family to let them know that we made it safely. So we're going to go get our luggage and then get an Uber and then head to our Airbnb. Airbnb. Ooh, Lord, it's been a long day already. And I'm hungry. We need to eat and get a drink. Yes, I'm going to drink. So it is our first night here and we decided after we got out of the Uber to shower, change and come out for date night. It's actually going to be an entire date week, but we are going to eat. What's the name of the place, baby? Raiz. We're going to Raiz for dinner because that is the restaurant that our Uber driver told us to go to. So we're on our way there. Just leaving our Airbnb. What time is it, babe? It's one o'clock. But we relaxed, we slept in, we had coffee together, we spent time with each other. It was really good. And now we're going to go explore. So I'll definitely take you guys with us as we explore the city.
So we just had lunch at a place called, babe, Raices, Raices. And we tried to go there last night for dinner, but it was a 45 minute wait. But there was no wait for lunch. And I had the churrasco, is it the churrasco or the chimichurri? I had the chimichurri mofongo. The mister had the Chimichurri. 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 Oh yeah, chimichurri is a garlic sauce. <laughs> I have to admit, I really did not like the mofongo. Like, I didn't like it. I'm so sorry, you guys. But his pork chop was excellent. So now we're just kind of souvenir shopping. We're gonna get some water for the Airbnb and we're gonna drop it off and come back out. I have to tell you guys, pina colada at Aises is the best pina colada I've had in my entire life. I would have got another one, y'all, but I had to save my alcoholic beverage intake. <laughs> but it was so good, y'all. It was really good. Looks like a fort. We are going to actually do a walk right now, like, like, a, like an actual walk, so that I can get my 15 minutes in for this holiday streakers challenge and then after that we're gonna just kind of chill back down and explore again so yeah. so this is how yeah this is how serious we are about getting our 15 minutes in <laughs> we are not playing around you guys seriously I am not going to owe anyone any burpees at all even in San Juan let's go trying to do anything so we're walking and look at what we are looking at now this is the Carmelo Anthony court for those of you who are into the NBA and into basketball you know how cool this is <laughs> so it's almost like we found like a little town from where we're staying how do you remember I think this is the one that was real expensive but had the amazing view. bit more walking we took some pictures by this huge door that had the Puerto Rican flag on it. it was so beautiful and then I started getting bit by mosquitoes so it's time to go back <laughs> so yeah gonna go back going to uh, get some food I do want another pina colada so I'm gonna see if I can get another pina colada and then uh, we're gonna chill for the rest of the night this is where we're about to head into Okay, y'all, so we thought we were going to be in for the night. No. We just read the instructions for our hike for tomorrow, and we need to bring our own snacks, our own water. So that's what we're gonna go do. We're going to go and get snacks and water and probably look at some lights, and then we will definitely be done for the night. This is so pretty. All right, so we got everything we needed and a little bit more. We have an early morning tomorrow, so I'm gonna call it a night and I'll meet you back here tomorrow morning. Good morning, we are on our way to, what's the name of the rainforest? El Yuka. El Yuka. El No, it's not Yuka. Yuka. We're on our way to a rainforest, y'all. It's early in the morning and I'm tired, I'm exhausted. But we're looking forward to it. We should have some fun today, right, baby? This is going to be a real hike, like a real hike. So we're going to get a workout in as well. Um, yunke, yunke, el yunke. See, I told you it was a yunke.
gonna be a very quick stop for you guys to use rest or change into your swimwear. Why? Because once you get in the forest, this is how it works. Once you open that door, you get muddy away from start to finish. Okay? So if you haven't changed or if you need to use the restroom, this is gonna be our last restroom stop, okay? So we're actually on the hike. It's beautiful out here, right? Do you like it? What's your name again? Joel. Joel. There's my man. He's gonna save us if we're drowning. But we know how to swim, thank God. Okay, crew. So, as you can see, from this one on, it's really muddy. So, remember, El Junque Rainforest is 28,000 acres of land. <laughs> this is actually my first ever hike that I can remember. I don't remember ever going on a hike before. This seems pretty cool. We just learned about bamboos and now we're walking through mud again. <laughs> Surrounded by this beautiful forest. Ginger root. They're not trees, they are ferns. One of the biggest and <laughs> this thing is slippery. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, ninja warrior. <laughs> Jumanji coming up. Level oh, sorry, two of Jumanji coming up. Why are we talking about mountains in Florida? Yeah, you ain't kidding. We're from Florida too, so <laughs> we're part the MIA. Oh, sick. Fort Lauderdale. Oh, cool. We're neighbors. Hold up high. Oh, you gotta do is that's perfect grip now. Very important. I recommend don't jump. You're gonna extend your hand and you know what? And now you let your feet and you go for some water fun whenever you're ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> perfect. Really? Excellent. Empanadilla de carne. Empanadilla de carne. Sí. Yeah. Y croquetas de pollo. Y patata frita. Finito. No, finito no. Finito is not. This is, this is not our word. Es todo. Es todo. This is everything. Es todo. Es todo. Hey guys, what is up? What is up? Okay, so we came back from our rainforest adventure. 
and we were so tired we fell asleep and the mister <clears throat> said that we were so the mister said we were only going to sleep for 45 minutes we ended up sleeping <laughs> how long did we sleep for an extra 30 20 minutes so it was 45 and 25. We slept over an hour. We slept over an hour and we decided to come and visit a place called El Balcón del Moreno. El Balcón del Moreno. So we're gonna wait for our food. We're, we're not eating a lot tonight because we had a really huge lunch and we just wanna keep it light. We have a long day tomorrow, so uh, yeah. We're gonna eat and have some great conversation enjoy some drinks and call it a night. Of course, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later. Good morning and happy, what is it, day four? We're just getting out and about. It's 9.20 and we decided to come next door, see right next door to, what's that say babe? Cafe House, Old San Juan, which is right next door. And just try their coffee and try a couple of pastries. It's a bar? Like an alcoholic bar? <laughs> it says, it says cafe house with a picture of a coffee. It has a picture of coffee. Y'all. Okay, so it is a little coffee bar. They just happen to sell tequilas and margaritas and Bloody Marys and mimosas. So. Mm, so good. This place is so cute. I absolutely love it. Let me show you guys where we are. We have a walking tour and a it's a walking and transportation tour today of the entire like old San Juan. So I'm gonna do 15 minutes of intentional walking and then we'll try to see what we can get into tonight. Alright, what's on the menu? All right, review on the coffee house. Excellent, excellent. All we had were bagels with cream cheese and the mister had a latte and I had a coffee explosion or whatever. It was excellent. Probably the best thing I've had since I've been here besides the pina colada and the pork chop, but it was excellent. I, I absolutely love that simple breakfast. All right, we're walking so that we can meet our tour guide for this all-day tour. I'll show you guys what we get into. So Old San Juan is basically where the Spanish decided to build their military base. So maybe you've seen in pictures already that the city has forts and castles and walls and all that all around it because it was a military base but it made by the Spanish. <laughs> Almost 
3 o'clock and we did some souvenir shopping. We got some stuff for the kids and a little something for the mister and I. And then we just went back to the Airbnb and we chilled and relaxed for a little bit. And now we are going to the, where are we going? To Barachina. Barachina, which is the restaurant that claims to have invented the pina colada down here. We're excited by that. And then we're gonna try to find some dessert. This is our last night here and we are really, really craving something sweet and something really good. So hopefully we find something that we enjoy. And then we're gonna go back and pack and get ready to leave early in the morning. So we'll let you guys know what we find. Yes, the house where in 1963 the pina colada was created by Don Ramon. Me I'm gonna be carrying you up the stairs. <laughs> you're gonna wait. You're gonna be left at the base of the stairs. He's waking up in the morning. Got the back from you. Got the back from you. Now we gotta do our cheers, our toast. Ready? Mm-hmm. No. To to this wonderful opportunity that we've had to take. A vacation for us. It's a little one-sided, but I'll tell the street. How is that one-sided? How is it? Okay, now that I've mixed it, now let me get a real good one. You're like the first one. <laughs> I knew you would, because it's pineapple based. I knew you would. I knew you would. Okay, so we just left ba Baracino. Is it Baracino? Baracino. Baracino. And, and now we are here. All right, let's see what this place has to offer. That looks good. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. Listen, I know I told y'all good night, but I have to tell y'all what this beautiful man did for me. So, y'all know I've been trekking through the PR trying to find the best pina colada. We found the best pina colada the other day and we haven't had one since then. So after our debacle from tonight, he decided, let's go to the Isis and get you a pina colada. Why'd you do that, baby? Because you wanted a pina colada from there. <laughs> I figured it was worth the try. It's because he loves me, that's why, my God. Mm. It is still the best. This is so good. This is the best pina colada. Raices in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. I have to say it right. Puerto Rico. The best place to get pina coladas is La El Raices. So good. Mm. Okay, so we finished our handmade ice cream rolls. They were really good. And now we're just kind of strolling along, trying to get the last bit of city views before we leave out bright and early in the morning. This is where I tell you guys good night. And I will definitely close out this Puerto Rican vacation vlog tomorrow as we are on our way home. And um, yeah, we're just going to enjoy each other and the rest of the night. So we're now boarding the plane so that we can take off. It was a great, great trip to Puerto Rico. I think he agrees. Yes, actually, it's a Puerto Rico. If you guys decide to go to San Juan, we hope that you visit places that we did because it was a great experience and we hope to be back one day. So thanks for rocking with us, thanks for rolling with us, and always come back to find out what we're showing up.